in a previous uh, making a better uh, 3D video too, we had put in these custom lights, which once you add your own custom lighting, auto lighting goes away. And we were talking about how we probably wanted to add some lighting over on the front side of this because it's kind of dark up front here. Now, lighting is the key to all rendering and to all real looking things. And as much as we can add all these fancy, neat little things here and there and whiz bangs, which do make a huge difference because at that point, people start identifying and associating with certain spaces by seeing certain things. And it gives also some good uh, depth of field when you have other objects and also color variation uh, as far as a point of reference. The lighting is crucial. So this is where we left it at a level four rendering with just just not quite enough lighting so i'm going to return to 2d and i'm going to go to accessories and you notice here under accessories lighting's at the very top if we scroll down we do have a lot of options in here and i like the dome lights i make them really tiny sometimes to make them uh, look like the track lighting that you can see uh, so often these days and you can change the color of everything but if we come down here, we have something called invisible light. Now, the advantage to invisible light is, okay, maybe we don't have the right lighting fixture, but we need to get some light in there to make it look right. So we click on invisible light. We click over here, and I'm just going to click OK. And there's another little trick in the program. You can hold your Alt key down and drag this anywhere you want. That's kind of a neat feature for uh, um, the lighting because you'll want to be able to move it anywhere you want. And that's just holding the Alt key down and dragging this. And I'm just going to double click on this. And I'm going to go left of it. I'm going to copy that. All right. And I'm going to hold the Alt key and I'm just going to drag this thing over here. So you notice all I'm trying to do is get some lighting in the general vicinity here of, you know, this area here. And if you notice, there's the lighting. It's, it's kind of at eye level. So that's the invisible light. You don't see it when you're looking straight at it. But if we go to 3D, watch the difference. It's going to be very pronounced. And I'm going to click on this. We're at a level four. All of a sudden, look how hot it is in here as far as the lighting. The great thing about this is it brings out the depth, the richness of the, the wood texture and the finish. And you're going to find that this does an incredible job for, for rendering. And this is what makes a true 3D rendering. Now, keep in mind, all I did was add four lights in here, two up top, the two in the front, the invisible lighting, and we just changed a few little details. So what you're going to find is that this 3D rendering is really a beautiful, beautiful thing. And if this doesn't impress your customers, well, I guess not much will. I'm going to let this go all the way through. As far as I'm concerned, this is where I want to stop on the 3D rendering because if you don't really get it at this point, the lighting is really the crucial part to this. And yeah, the color and, and all these other little things, but notice, look at the detail in here on the corbels, on the on the fluted pilaster there, even the knobs and a little bit of edge detail with the little shine with the profile that we put on the countertop everything jumps out at you and this is what's going to really sell the uh, product to somebody and and i really didn't go through a lot of trouble to make the rendering look this good um, that's the beautiful thing about kcd is that you can get a super nice rendering quality without really understanding a lot about it and there it is